Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and I suddenly hope you're having a fine day. Okay, now what this movie follows about is a review on a Michael Kelly Dragonfly five-string fretless acoustic electric bass, which would be this guy right here. Okay, now if you go down in my index of YouTube videos, you're going to see I did a big long-winded video on this four-string fretless Michael Kelly right here. I was very dissatisfied with that video because I was fighting harsh lighting problems. But this morning I got up and I'm working in early dawn hours and hopefully I can eliminate that problem, okay? Now, a lot of people are probably going to wonder what's the difference between this, this guitar, this five-string right here, and this four-string fretless. Not a lot. Really, not a lot. But the important things are, a lot of people might think, oh, well, the fretboard's too wide. Don't be foolish. Nothing can be further from the truth. Okay, this is a bone nut up here, okay? It's 43 millimeter on the four string, and it's 45 millimeter on this guy here. 45 millimeter on that nut whip. Okay, I took a set of calipers and measured these strings right here. And basically, uh, from string top to string top, it's going to vary a little bit because of the gauge of the strings. You've got a half inch distance between these strings right here, approximately. And over here on this four string right here, you've got uh, approximately five eighths of an inch. So what we're talking about is one eighth of an inch difference. And yes, this fretboard is just a hair wider than what's on the four string fretless. But it's negotiable. It does. It doesn't really matter. Okay, like I say, check out my other video. I went into a lot of specs and a lot of jabber. I probably shouldn't have, but basically speaking, starting. Okay, well, naturally, you know, you've got three keys on this side right here of the headstock, and two on this other side. And does it affect the balance of this? This uh, acoustic bass? No, not at all. Not that I can tell. Also, while I'm thinking about it, I measured this headstock to see if there was any difference between this and the four string right there and the resin. They're the same headstock. And the tuner keys on this guy here are Grover. They say, they say MK on them for Michael Kelly, but I'm pretty sure they're made by Grover. Okay, now... Like I've already explained before, the strings, which is something that's very nice, load up right there through the bottom of the bridge. I like that feature. I really do. That bridge, this bridge right here, is made out of rosewood. This whole entire sound box, from top to sides to the back, is quilted maple. And take a look at that striping. I'm not exactly sure what that is. But, and that's another thing too, this rosette right here, uh, on this, on the sound hole right there, that's abalone. Uh, the fretboard here is, this fretboard is rosewood, and the decorations, if you will, <laughs> the inlay, I should say, is mother of pearl and abalone. And what you've got there is you've got some vines, you got some little tiny flowers, and you've got a dragonfly. Very, very, very nice. You know, I don't know. I'm, I can't see what I'm doing here because I'm always on the other side of the viewing part of my camera. But hopefully, you can see that all right. Now, I didn't really bring this out the last time in my last video too much, but that's a mahogany neck that's on this guy here. Okay, this neck, this is mahogany. So. Basically, what I'm trying to say, ladies and gentlemen, is you've got three woods in this guitar here. You've got quilted maple, mahogany, and rosewood. Okay, now there is one thing that is aesthetically different than what's on this four-string right here, and that's Michael Kelly included a strap button. It's got a strap button, which is kind of nice. You know, you may want to stand up. Personally, myself, I'm not a professional musician. I don't play in a band, so it doesn't make any difference. And, of course, your 
right there is where your instrument, your, your quarter inch TRS goes in there. Okay, and I don't know what else I can say about this except for strum on it a little bit. Okay, this fifth string, this 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 big heavy string right here, this is a 0 0.130 string. Okay, this this smaller guy over here, this G string is is 0 0.045. So you got 45 gauge to 130 gauge. Okay. And is the neck real fat and everything? No. It's a standard C neck. It, 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 to me, it's very slim. This guitar is not very heavy at all. Oh, it's got Fishman Electronics in it, too, if you can see that right there. I'm not going to take the time to explain everything just simply because it's in my other video. And there is a Fishman transducer, a sonic core transducer in this bridge right here. Okay? And, th and these electronics work very, very well. I'll show you. Let me take this. I got a pig nose 30 amp uh, amplifier right here. A 30 watt, excuse me. Let me plug this base in here and turn this guy on. And I bought this because I wanted this. I wanted this extra this this big this low B string right here. Take a listen to that guy. That's really got some thump to it. I just got done tuning this. It seems to hold tune very well. Okay. Okay. Good. That's how I remember it. Good dogs always eat bones. G, D, A, E, B. Hope I got that right. But anyway, I find this 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 bass acoustic to be very nice just like the four string there but i wanted to have this bigger gauge string right here a lot of people might say oh i got no use for that you might be surprised you know bass is a low frequency rhythm type instrument so hey it feels a lot like the four string there no problems whatsoever and i hope you can see this real well I've turned it around enough times. I certainly hope the lighting is better than what's on my last video. I went through this very, very fast. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I need to, need to say about this. It does have fret markers on the side of the fretboard right there, if you can see those. I'm not going to get into all that. Okay, that's about all there is to this. But if you're interested in a, an acoustic electric bass, I, I would probably check one of these out. I used to play a Fender P bass, and a lot of people might wonder what the weight on this is. I haven't weighed this, but I can guarantee you that Fender P bass I had was a lot heavier than this guy right here. It's, you know, for what for the size of these, the physical dimensions, this remains a relatively uh, light guitar, so... There you are, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough of all this. Thank you very much for watching the video. And have a nice day.